Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, the truss is supported by a pin at A and the roller at B. Determine the support reactions. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. At a hinge A, we are going to have a vertical reaction AY. We also have a horizontal component, which is AX. At the roller, we have BY only. Right. So what we're going to do now is to apply the equations of equilibrium. And once we are done, I mean, we we'll apply the summation of moments about point A, later on summation of forces in the Y and in the X. But when we apply the summation of forces in the y and in the x, we need to convert these 5 kN uh, into, I mean, we need to get components of 5 kN so that we write them in the x and in the y. We'll do that when we start the summation of forces in the y and x. Right. So summation of moments about point A equal to 0. And clockwise being our reference. What we have... This distance here, there is this distance that we need. Uh, which distance is that? When this distance here, from there to there, we need this distance. This distance is needed. Right. Uh, let me just cross over this to just show some dotted lines like so. Right. So this distance here is equal to, this one is equal to, we have 45 there, so this is equal to 4 plus 6, uh, and then cos, so we have 6 cos uh, 45, okay, mm, yeah, and then we need another distance, we need another one, which is, uh, okay, that is about it really. You know, just that uh, and that one. Great. So that is about it. So let's go ahead. Uh, summation of moments about point A. So we have a negative moment 10 times the lever arm. The lever arm is a 2 plus 6 cos 45, right? That's about point A. Uh, and then we have uh, another negative moment due to 5, so it will be 5 times 4. Okay, the lever arm, right? Because it's perpendicular to the load. And then we have a plus by by uh, by by 6 plus 6 cos 45 equal to 0. Mm -hmm. Is that fine? It is. Therefore, by is just going to be equal to, uh, we have a 2 plus 6 cos 45 uh, times 10 times minus 1, then minus 5 by 4, then divided by 6 plus 6 plus 6 cos 45. So we have a 8.0074. Okay, if I was to take care of all the other decimals, uh, 0474. Let me repeat this. Minus 10, minus 10, In brackets, we have a 2 plus 6, cos 45, then minus 5 by 4, divided by 6 plus 6, cos 45, uh, we have a 04, 8.0474, great. Okay, so now before we move on to finding the components in the y direction, We've been told the angle is 45. We've seen this angle here is 45. So it simply means also this angle here. This angle here 
you can also write it as 45 right this angle here from this point here to up there like this this one here this is a 45 it may use red so this is a 45 all right so we have uh, this component we're going to have this component here uh, this component is going to be equal to 5 uh, cos 45 and then we have another component in this direction and this component will be equal to 5 sine 45 right so with those two we can go ahead and say summation of forces in the y equal to zero going up in our reference uh, we have a y uh, minus 5 cos 45 uh, minus 10 plus b y equal to zero we already found what b y is so by itself we can place it in there and then we'll find what ay is our ay therefore is going to be equal to minus 5 cos 45 minus 10 plus 8.0474 ay therefore is going to be equal to 5.4881 uh, kilo newtons okay and then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero in this direction being our reference uh, what do we have we have ax okay plus 5 sine 45 equal to zero therefore our ax is just going to be equal to minus 5 sine 45. What do we get? We get a 3.5355 kilo newtons. Right, let's replace these values here. So we have by. By we found it as just 0. Point uh zero five we can say just up to that end that's fine and then a y is in a uh, a y is also equal to uh five point we can round it off to four nine kilonewtons and then a x direction changes let's write the direction so this is going to be equal to a 3.54 kilo newtons right okay and then let's outline the final solution we have a by there like so we have the ay there like so we have the ax there like so right so this is really about it. This is really about it. And I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and continue subscribing.